We actually have two major programs that reflect our re approach on aging. First, there is our Potential of Older Age project that explicitly focuses on the skills and experience of the elderly by international symposia to learn best practice from each other. Second, there is our, as we call it, House in Park project. For more than 30 years, Kerber Foundation has been running a community center for people aged 50 and older. It offers activities for the elderly, learning something new, being creative, fostering social contacts, or taking advantage of health programs. There are hundreds of elderly people visiting the center every day, but what is more, about 100 of them work themselves as volunteers. They either help within one of the center's departments or support other elderly people in the area or contribute to the local community. Our House and Park has therefore become our testing ground for elderly citizens getting involved and actively participating, just as we would like to see it everywhere in society. So foundations can make a difference. First, they can put the issue of an aging society on the political agenda, promoting the discourse of the challenges and opportunities of aging societies with all parties involved. Second, foundations may just as we do identify best practices. That is, good ideas that keep shrinking and aging societies alive. Last but not least, foundations can help to develop new images of older age, stretching its strengths rather than its deficits. Looking beyond your own horizon, this is the hope we have for the European Year of Active Aging. Kerber Foundation has decided to use the year 2012 to focus its own activities on the issue of old age. We have named our campaign Reinventing Old Age. We want to create new images of old age by holding a series of events in several German cities and by collecting people's wishes and ideas for their old age. The European Year of Active Aging will magnify our activities and we are only too willing to share our experience with others in Europe.